From the Texas AgriLife Extension Service, this is your weekly two-minute crop report for June 3, 2009. While irrigated cotton in the Texas High Plains is in pretty good shape, the outlook for the majority of dryland cotton is poor, says Dr. Randy Bowman, Texas AgriLife Extension Service agronomist. Uh, for us, you can pretty much just say that it's in dire straits right now. We've had limited rainfall around to, to help the guys get the dryland crop established, and we are up against our final planting date. The uh, May 31st uh, planting date deadline has, has passed. And that's for, let's say, from about Hale County North, which would be Plainview North, Lubbock County, and the kind of the central counties that run east and west from Lubbock, that planting date is about June 5th. And as you go south of Lubbock toward Lynn County and Dawson County, which would be Tahoka and Lamisa, it's going to be June 10th. So uh, what, we're, what we're seeing is a lot of guys are just filling up the planters and dry planting the dry land in hopes of uh, getting some substantial rainfall on that. Of course, they do have to plant it in order to uh, to qualify for the insurance programs. About 45 to 50 percent of the 3.4 million acres of cotton that Texas High Plains producers reported they intended to plant this year are in dry land. The rest is irrigated. Generally speaking, that cotton under center pivot irrigation is in much better shape, Bowman says. You know, the irrigated crop is, is a little bit behind right now based on what I'm seeing. Uh, we've been relatively cool in May, or at least the growing conditions have not been good. Our, our, our heat units are tracking pretty well, but uh, we've had a lot of days where we've had, you know, just cool mornings, and, and the cotton is just not growing like it should uh, for this time of year. According to AgriLife Extension County Agent reports, cotton is completely planted and in fair condition in North Texas. In South Texas, cotton under irrigation was doing well. This has been Robert Burns with the AgriLife Communications Unit.